In this video we're going to review how to optimize the expert advisor. In the previous example we looked at the example EA cross robot so what we're about to do now is optimize this robot. To optimize means to means to basically tweak and make it profitable. So first we've ran the robot or the expert advisor. I call it robot but it's truly an expert advisor. We ran the expert advisor from January 1st, 2019 to September 30th, 2019. If you look at the results, it lost money. The total net profit is negative 145. Now the profit trades is nine. Well, the profitable trades is nine. The loss trades is 43. If you remember, this strategy was just something we just randomly created and it used two moving averages. So if you have not reviewed the video on how we created this expert advisor, please go back and review that video. So now what we need to do is we need to edit the expert advisor to where we can alter the take profit and stop loss. And the reason we need to do that is because if we go through here and look, we can see that the, this is a, this right here is a sale trade. This trade went down 91 pips but it looked like it got stopped out before it even got going good so this trade could have potentially returned 94 pips and if you go back here's another example this is a sale order it could have returned up to 64 pips or it could have returned 90 pips or so and actually if you look over here this is where the trade was entered it could have actually went way down here and closed out at 124 pips and if you go back through here you'll see multiple examples of trades that were closed way too soon that had additional profit potential so this trade up to 76 pips yet it only brought in about 15 pips or so. So the first thing we need to do is open up, go over to our expert advisor and we need to alter the program. So the close, so this is the buy order scenarios and this is the sell order scenarios as we discussed in the previous video. So this is the condition in which the buy order is executed. This is the position in which the sell order is executed. Now what we want to do is go over to the close trade section over here and right now we have it to where when the candlestick close or the close of the candlestick is below the 50 period EMA or moving average then we want to close the trade out. We want to remove these because that's not working. It's working but it's not working in our favor. So if we go over here the first thing we want to do is we want to try to take profit at we'll just leave it at 100 pips and then we need to put this valuable, I'm sorry, we need to put this value in a variable. Okay, so add input, take profit, pips, you can make this name whatever you want, take profit pips and we want, and we want to assign this value of 100 to this variable. Okay, and I'll show you why we are going to do that in a minute click OK. So now when this condition is met and a buy order is executed when the trade reaches 100 pips it will take profit. Now for the stop loss we want to do let's say 40, 40 pips. We'll do 40 pips and we're going to assign this value to a, a variable for the stop loss. We want to add new input stop loss pips we assigned it a value of 40 okay and click OK now down here we want to create the opposite of this order so we just click the create the opposite of buy order button and here it has order price plus stop loss pips so basically the stop loss is set to 40 and the take profit is set to 100 but in the program it is going to set the stop loss to 
whatever the value of SL pips is. So since the value of this variable SL pips is 40, it is going to set the stop loss to 40. Same with the take profit. Now if you go over to inputs, you'll see that the take profit pips and the stop loss pips, these are the variables and these are the, the values that are associated with these. So if we wanted to increase our take profit, we would go here to edit it. But what we're going to do is copy this source code. Copy. Go back over to MT4 and right click on our expert advisor and click modify. Okay, and then once again, we're going to, when it opens Meta Editor, we're going to Control A or right click and select all and delete everything. And then we're going to Control V to paste and we're going to compile. Go back over to MT4 and refresh. Okay, now we're going to look and see if our profit increases. And then after we see what our profit does, we will click the optimize button and I'll show you what it means to optimize. So right now the report shows at negative $145 with the previous settings. And we're about to we are about to run it with the new parameters we just put in. So hit start. Okay, our program just ended. So let's go over to reports and look at the results. So the total net profit now is $501.35 with a drawdown of $10.61. Total trades 57. The total profitable trades was 21. The total loss trades was 36. So now what we want to do is we want to look and see what would happen if we altered our take profit, our take profit and our stop loss. So what would happen if we set this to 150 pips and change the stop loss to 20 pips? Would the program be more successful? So one of the things we can do so we can click the optimization button and go to expert properties. We can go to input and we would select both of these boxes. These are our variables. Right now we have 100, the value of 100 assigned to the take profit pips and we have the value of 40 assigned to the stop loss pips. So what we want to do is we want to start the test at 20. So we'll start it at 20 and we'll start the stop loss pips at 20. And we want to step in, uh, we'll say 5. We'll set this at 5. So what the step means is first the program is going to start the take profit pips at 20 and the stop loss at 20 and then it is going to after it tries 20 it is going to try 25 then 30 it's going to step 5 basically move in the direction 5 pips at a time and it is going to stop so it'll start at 20 moving 5 increments at a time until it reaches and let's set this a little higher you can put this as low as or, or as high as you want to run as many tests as you want to, but the more the, the larger the range, the longer the program will take to run and optimize. So that's why I'm increasing this. So I want to increase it to we'll say 50. And we'll leave that at 20. And we'll step 10 to make it quicker. Alright, and for the stop we want the range to be between 50 and we'll just say since we know after we looked at it when we looked at it the first time we've noticed that one of the 
highest trades on the chart or most of the trades most of the high, highest trades on the chart is less than a hundred and I think it was a hundred and thirty or around a hundred and forty we'll just put a hundred and seventy stop loss we'll put a hundred and seventy well for the stop loss let's just put a hundred okay we'll click OK now what we want to do after the optimi optimization button is checked and we've set the inputs the value the start step and stop we want to click start and what this is going to do is going to give us a chart and it is going to break down the stop loss and take profit and then it is going to tell us what the potential profit would have been if we chose or selected that take profit and stop loss alright so the optimization is completed that took about 15 minutes so it's at 117 of 117 so these tabs down here will show our results so the optimization results we can see that the profit we can see the profit right here now remember our our initial profit when we when we ran this from January to September was five hundred dollars and the drawdown was ten dollars so now we can see that the profit over here for this particular scenario is one thousand two hundred and fifty five dollars total trades fifty seven and then it has a drawdown of five hundred and seventeen dollars if we go over here this is what they have it set at in order to generate this one thousand two hundred and fifty five dollars the take profit pips was one sixty and the stop loss is seventy in our initial creation of the program or our initial optimization of the program we set it to 100 take profit of 100 and the stop loss pips was 40 I believe so what we can do here is we can let's scroll through it looks like it's in order from highest to lowest let's make sure Okay, if we click on this arrow right here it sorts it so this is sorting from lowest to highest and if we click on it again it will sort from the highest as we can see to the lowest this is not too bad this is the first one we've seen or the highest profit potential has a drawdown of five hundred and seventeen dollars and the total profit was one thousand two hundred and fifty five dollars now the take profit pips is 160 and the stop loss is 70 pips so let's go over to and now what we want to do is edit our program to mimic this so 160 and 70 so go over to our program this is our program and go all the way up to the top to we until we locate the inputs TP pips and stop loss pips right now it's set at 140 100 for the take profit and 40 for the stop loss. Now we want to edit this to 160 for the take profit and our let's see stop loss is 70. And we simply hit compile. Go back over to MT4. Right click and refresh. And now that change is actually saved into our expert advisor after we have ran our optimization results and it's given us the parameters to input for the highest profit potential we're going to go over and we're going to test this again using what the new parameters or the new take profit and stop loss is so over in meta editor we edited our take profit pips to 160 and the stop loss to 70 we compiled we came over and we refreshed we right clicked and we refreshed so that the new values would be reflected in the expert advisor when we run it now we want to uncheck the optimization box we want to turn back on uh, ensure the visual mode button is selected and then we want to go to expert properties and we want to unselect these two boxes and then we want to change the value 
just change the value to 160 and 70, which is our new value. Always click reset and click OK. Now we're going to run this again from January 2019 through September 30th, 2019. Remember, the first time we did this with our 100 take profit, 100 pip take profit, and our 40 pips, uh, 40 pip stop loss, the profit, the total net profit, I believe, was around $500 or so. Now that we've ran the optimization or the optimizer, and it has given us the new results. We're going to we input these values, saved it, and now let's run it and see what our new profit will be. Okay, so the program just finished. So let's go over to our report. And as you can see here, the total net profit is twelve fifty five oh seven or one thousand two hundred fifty five dollars and seven cents. Our absolute drawdown is twelve dollars and twenty six cents. It took 57 trades and the number of profitable trades 25, number of lost trades 32. We go back over to our optimization results which are still here. We will see that that lines up with what the optimizer listed as the results. And that is how you optimize and test an expert advisor.